Hi guys. I had the question I asked about resin and these borax crystals. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm using marine resin. It makes this 50-50. I've already got both parts pouring it in a cup. I'm going to stir this really well. And I have my borax crystal laying here, as you can see. Now this is one of my objects that I intend on taking to my sale. So I'm going to embellish this a little bit with a little glitter color, if I can find the right color. There it is. And uh, I may be sacrificing it, but if, if they don't hold up well, then they will have to be used as uh, mold forms. What you can do with these is get the latex mold maker. I have two things of it here somewhere. Uh, this is Cast and Craft Mold Builder. And what you can do is you can brush this on several different layers onto these. I would do this side. This is the prettiest side. And that then you can use it to pour resin. I do know that already. And while I'm thinking of it, I really should. I have got so much stuff glued to this tabletop and resin to it. This is a homemade table made out of a solid wooden pallet. <laughs> so I had my maintenance man throw it together for me. It just happens to be the perfect height. It was a barbecue table until I discovered acrylic pouring. Now everything belongs to acrylic pouring and resin and everything else involved in art. <laughs> Well, I discovered something else too. This is my little silicone makeup applicator. I thought that it was going to be a little easier to get acrylic paint off of these without wetting them. It isn't. I'm going to have to take it and wash it. They have some, some sort of strangeness I imagine to keep them from being so sticky that they hold on to every little uh, piece of fuzz or whatever uh, but that doesn't come off as easy if it's thicker it'll peel right off now I used it previous um, to put on my polycrylic and it worked very well for that and when it dried I just bent it and the polycrylic just flaked off speaking of which I neglected to put the lid back on it just a few minutes ago. That's what I've done so far today is just seal painting. Okie doke. I had, had, had a paintbrush here. I can't keep up with anything and I actually straightened up some. So, I may not put any glitter in this. Alright, here we go. Now I'm pouring the side that's going to be the downside first. We give that time to kind of seep in. It's coating it not completely running off of it. My only uh, concern is that when it goes through its heat, what it might do. Ah. 
It's also, I think, going to take some of the actual shine away from the crystals themselves. Okay. <laughs> Yesterday, uh, I opened my ashtray to see if there was any money in there. <laughs> and a while back, I had I had a musky smell in my car for whatever reason. And I got some of those, you know, the uh, what are they? Unstoppables or downy? I threw a handful of those in my glove box. Well, when I first started doing these crystals, I had some and I uh, went out and got in the car and I must have been going to bring them here because I threw them in the glove box. Well, yesterday, I reached in and got out some change and I picked those crystals up and smelled of them and it was like having an air freshener and I'm thinking that since you can do them on string and stuff that a cluster of them locked into a big truck locked into a Ziploc baggie with some of those downy unstoppables would make an awesome rear view air freshener. But it looks very interesting. It, it does have some shine to it. I don't see any changes in it as of yet. Hold on, if you get dizzy I'm going to make you drunk. So yeah, so far so good. I should have left the string on it. I don't know what I was thinking. Now it's going to have to have a ridges on the back or something. But I'll add to this when it dries or melts or does something. Happy arting. Okay. It's just a minute or two since I coated those borax crystals. But I noticed how much runoff I had underneath. So I've got one of my silicone molds here. And I've put the silicone little wedge thing that I just showed you on a minute ago under here to make it all run to one side to give me some depth. Totally did not occur to me that I have this whole container of borax crystals already grown. These I broke off the side of my pan. So they're good and dry. Let's just see what happens. They're all different shapes too. This should give us a pretty good representation of how it would be to just coat them like on the top of a resin piece uh, or use them in geodes or if they're going to completely melt. I'm going to flip that one so the top is coated too. Now you can't, whatever color pipe cleaner you use is what faint color that your geo, or I'm sorry, your borax crystals are going to have. I read someone's work that they said they didn't realize that, uh, that the borax did not take on the color of, like say, if you put food coloring in it that it doesn't take on that color the borax doesn't I'm not so sure about that so that's something else I'm gonna have to try a small you know just a small 
I did that actually. That's how I did the uh, sparkly onion rings. Was with food coloring. And of course, with these completely buried, you can barely see them because they are white. <laughs> and they are not going to have much uh, texture definition. But for this, in theory, we're just looking to see if you can resin them and if they are going to melt or be okay. So there they are. You can see they are partially submerged. There's that one. I'm still holding them. It does have more sparkle with the resin on it. Oh. Yay. Okay. Carry on. Alrighty, I just showed up again at the shop. Got some things going on. I did an experiment with resin and the borax crystals in a homemade silicone mold. Everything stuck. Added some glitter. The resin piece of the borax is perfect. It does appear to have melted just a little bit, but I'd say that that is a success. I just stuck my tongue to it and it is sealed 100%. Okay, the little things that I have going on here. It just looks like trash, but it's not. This is resin on, I mean, uh, borax crystals on resin and I dyed it with alcohol ink does not see no just get a new canvas you can look, go ahead and move those but okay, Sheena's here say hi Sheena Hello. we're working <laughs> uh, anyway this is one that I had drips of canvas down there I <laughs> had drippy canvas um, drips of resin and once again this is the uh, marine epoxy resin so this is borax crystals just laid down in the wet resin and then alcohol ink dripped on it I think or I may have done it and let the alcohol ink dry first then whatever however I did it I did it <laughs> This is coated in resin after, no, this was coated with resin and alcohol ink was dripped on after. That's what it was. And I'm thinking that the yellow came from, yeah, that would be it. There was paint underneath, so that is interesting that the paint underneath that was on that was stuck on this which is a silicone cutting mat would show through with color very interesting I'd say that is a win then here I have just white if I can get them up just the regular crystals thrown down in wet resin I think there was some white paint under that, but I really like the fact that whatever color is underneath is going to color your borax. Okay, here's the last one. This is stacked crystals with uh, resin on top and alcohol inks dripped. 
and I love that. You see that? Mm -hmm. So it's completely cured. I don't know as far as time goes what's going to happen with it. Then here's my little thing that y'all saw. This is them in a deep casting. Ooh. I'd say that's a win too. And I played around, I didn't do it on camera, but I also played around with some alcohol inks um, in this one, coloring. And why you would want to encase those crystals necessarily, I'm not sure, but we'll just call that a win. So my knee jerk reaction is yes, you can use, this is still soft, this is uh, it's not set up yet. Or it could be because I scraped it. <laughs> Only the thin part is flexible. Um, but you can use the borax crystals in your resin work. There you have it. I'm going to shut down now. We've got some major art projects to do. Y'all have a great day. Happy arting. If you try any of these, post them in group and let me know how it worked out for you. See ya.